morning and welcome back to the channel. I hope everybody's had a great week. Uh, it's Friday. And that means today it's Bronco Mods Day. You guys know that. Excuse the Bronco noise. You know it's a soft top. Anyway, today we get down on something real cool. And I think you guys will appreciate it. Everybody's looking for more power in their vehicle and stuff. And a lot of what you're feeling is hesitation. So today we're going to try to fix that hesitation, especially with these new 2.7s. They have all the power you need, but there's a lag built into them from the factory so that you don't have that power right now all the time. I bet you we fix it today. shop you can see now check it out we got fat boy behind me um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at a new product that I think will help us Bronco owners not only feel a little better driving our vehicles once they're lifted and a little heavier but give us a little bit more confidence jumping out in the intersections and things like that this these Broncos these today have so much power they do so well but there is some lag and hesitation and so I'm thinking that this product that we're gonna do today may change that. Stick around. Okay, check it out. You know what today is? It's Garage Mods. What do we have? We got a box somewhere. Here's that box. Not that backpack, but that box. And we love boxes, because in boxes, people send us cool things. And now, we got a bunch of stuff. So in this box that you see here, as we go over here to our natural desk area, got our, you know, Call of Duty, oh, look at this, oh, boom. Anyway, it's a big box. So this box, the neat thing about this box is it's holding a few things for us. This is just a airline and nozzle kit for a wet system for meth. It's actually not going on the Bronco. It would be cool, but it's not. But in here, there's a couple of products. These products, uh, this is a mountains to metal, camera relocation bracket for the front of the Bronco because I don't know if you guys get it, but because I've got this bar um, and these lights, it ends up throwing an error on the dash all the time. And it drives me crazy. It doesn't affect anything, but I just want to stop having to hit okay a million times. And anyway, you can see it doesn't protrude very far out. I mean, I'll stick a finger out, you know, half of a hand. Anyway, so it affects that guy there. And you guys know I love that guy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna relocate that camera out here, but not on this video. That's not, that's for another one. This one is for performance. And it's really not performance. Remember I told you guys, this is about basically just changing the responsiveness of our Bronco. Now that Bronco right there and every other one that we have is driven in the throttle assembly uh, is reactive to voltage input into the throttle body, which tells it the opening, how far to open and close. They build a natural buffer in there to slow the opening of it up so that you don't just get power right away. This will take that lag away. The reason why I know it'll work is because anybody that followed my channel for a long time, on my diesel Gladiator, I had a Banks and the Derringer and it was bananas. So. Let's see what happens. Guys, I'm so excited. Hold on. Let me get a knife. Hold on. Guys, I'm sorry. I'm 
I'm an embarrassment. I couldn't find a knife. Girls, I couldn't find a knife. People, I couldn't find a knife. So let's open this up. And then first of all, we'll get all this information for you guys. So this product I believe in is amazing. I've had it before. It is incredible. It's going to change the way you think about your Bronco. Anyway, here's the part number for your Bronco. If it's 2.7, check it out. Anyway, let's get to the guts. Banks. Yeah, I don't know if that's going to happen, but the changes it does make are crazy. So check this out. Huge thing to look out for. Remove before a dealer visit, okay? So before you go to a dealer visit, make sure that you remove this because obviously the dealer doesn't want you tampering anything. Does it automatically void anything? No, because it's plug and play. It doesn't change an interface, but they may give you flack about it, I don't know. Either way, the directions are pretty simple. So this comes with the Y cable. One goes to the pedal itself, the other one goes to it, and then that's now activated. And the other cable goes up into your OBD2 port. So essentially, the way a throttle works these days, not an old mechanical throttle, but on your, on your Bronco, is there's no longer an actual cable that goes from here to the carburetor. Thus, when you push it, open the carburetor more. Now it's called drive-by wire. And so there's just a sensor in there. And so by pressing this, it presses down on a sensor. That sensor relays how far you got it depressed, then giving the voltage to the throttle body, telling it how far to open. What this is simply doing is basically getting in between that signal and as you push it, this unit reads it and then it determines from what level you've turned it up to, how much more voltage to provide. Therefore, the throttle body opens more, providing more oxygen and more fuel in the motor, meaning you get going faster. So, it's dialable as well. So, it's not as if it's just a one, and one switch and you're like, bah, it's all the way open. This allows you to, and, and it's really all the kit, there's, so here's your kit. It's got two wires, like I said, one will go into the pedal, I'm not sure if it's this one yet, I haven't looked. One will go into the pedal, and then the other one will go into the factory harness, obviously making this a Y cable, okay? And then you have this cable, that then, from this cable down into this, travels up to your OBD2 port and plugs in. That's how it gets power. That's how it provides voltage to the actual cable. That's how it adjusts what it's providing. Super simple install. I mean, literally super simple. And then what we'll do is pop in here. And I think, I think, I think they've got a um, uh, pretty simple manual here because it really is simple, but I don't want to misinform you all. Um, thank you, Pedal Monster. More attention. These are just, here's the install videos and, and stuff that you can get. Um, and yeah, so they're not going to give you a physical install guide, which I don't like. That's going to be one knock on something like this, is because I love to have full, this day and age, we should have full color pictures provided in an install package because then you can reference it back and forth as you progress. And then of course you can change, you know, you can mark up that page and know that you've passed it. But it does give you obviously some really good uh, QR codes to base it off of. So that shouldn't be hard. We'll look those up and see what it takes. Okay, so I told you guys we're just gonna do some seat of the pants hits. And really, I mean that, right? So like, basically I'm just gonna get in a position where you know, it feels good and, and we're gonna turn and kinda not gonna bother traffic and then I'm just gonna slow roll it and I'm gonna mat it and we'll see kinda what response we get out of the throttle, right? Because in all of our Broncos are gonna be a little bit different. They're weighed a little bit different. I've got 37 inch bead locks that so probably weigh 145 pounds per corner. And I have five of them because I have one on the back. So I'm gonna turn, this is pretty good. So just listen and, and this is, so I'm kinda rolling right now and this is all the way on the floor. See how long it took to kind of come up. It was this huge, there was a huge delay. And um, and not that we're wanting it to, to do anything bananas, but in that instance, if I was trying to get out of somebody's way, it wouldn't have, and I probably would have been hit. And so that's the only thing I want to try to cure, right? I want to see how I can cure 
um, that just short delay because, man, if it's a matter of getting in a position where, oh, gosh, I should jump out and I need to move, you know, this thing really wouldn't because of that built-in lag. And it's built in that way because of the turbos and stuff like that. But that and just kind of a safety factor of one, right? But what we want, so see, we're, we're going to roll it again. Oh, it's a cool little Bronco. Um, anyway, oh gosh, she just came out. I can't mad it. Look all crazy in front of the older lady. <laughs> anyway, so we're going to cruise here. Um, anyway, it's like a safety factor one. But if you needed and wanted to get out of somebody's way with that lag there, you couldn't. And so let's see what happens. And I've got the VR tune box off. So this is just a stock Bronco. So ready, we're rolling at 19. I'm going to mat it and see what it does. So see how there's that delay? There's that massive delay. And I, and I want to take that away because I'm used to throttled vehicles, all my performance vehicles. When you hit the gas, it goes. I'm not saying it needs to have big power, but what I'm saying is it needs to respond and it doesn't. And why manufacturers do this, I have no idea. So we're gonna pull back in the shop right now. That's two good hits, that's all it needs. And what we'll do is we'll get this plugged in and set up. And then what we'll, what we'll do is we'll just do a hit on its lowest setting. And then we'll do a uh, hit on its highest setting. Same way, we rolled out in that intersection, uh, got straight, and then matted it, okay? And then we'll do the same thing again with um, the rolling at 19. Rolling at 19 miles an hour and then hit it and see what kind of response we get. So let's get it put in. Shouldn't take long. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you in here, guys. So it's pretty simple to see now that you can see it. That connector right there is now wide and you can see it. So you pull up the factory one, you put the banks onto it, and then the factory and the old cable combine together to make the Y. You simply route it across here, and then I chose to just barely stick mine right up in this cubby and zip it. And then of course, this is the cable here that I'll tuck behind this panel right here, and then run it up to the OBD2 port right here. Pretty simple. I'll once again kind of back this up a little bit for you guys and show you in here you can see the derringer you can see the spare on this it's right behind the speaker panel and then right here you can see how i've just looped it up and it goes into then things i do want to mention um it's all done in here i just showed you guys that but remember if you don't want to disconnect your battery make sure you remove your keys just go put them in the house leave the driver's door open for over 10 minutes when it hadn't had the key fob around it and what that'll do, and, and make sure you haven't keyed anything on or, or caused it, any lights on the dash to come on. Because if you do, that means it's woken back up. You have to allow it to re-go to sleep. So that needs to be at least a 10 minute process. So before you plug it into the OBD2 port, open the door, take the keys out, throw them inside, let it set for 10 minutes, 15 minutes to be safe, and then you're good to go. Okay, so we're back in it. The install's complete, I showed you that. So we're just gonna take a drive real quick. And I'll just tell you now, it's in stock mode and it is absolutely stock. It's the same thing as stock, it's not anything different. Uh, but I'll turn you around here in a second, let you see the interface, okay? And I think what we'll do, um, I don't really know what we wanna do. I think I think we just wanna turn it up. We wanna, we wanna right off the bat, we wanna see what it does differently and see if there's a huge difference, right? So let's go to, we're gonna go to track. So what I wanted to show you guys is here it is banks so we're gonna hit banks we're gonna open this up and it's basically gonna show you what it's doing it's gonna to connect to the pedal monster and this is what I was telling you about about wanting to show you guys the interface so once it comes up you'll see um, of course disclaimers it's like all of them don't operate it while you're driving but anyway it shows you kind of what it has the availability for so obviously you see connected and available and then you see the modes stock city sport and track now at that point it's depending on how you want to drive it and how you want it to react so what it does, so I'm in city now. In city, this is the gauge of how much city responsiveness you want. So this is what we'll call the second in line of four as far as responsiveness, right? So you've got it here, and as you give it gas, you see where the this foot, that's the pressure that Ford factory actually gives you as response voltage. And then you see how the bank's unit in, in city at the max, uh, 
level on city selection is how much banks uh, then supplement the actual float response. See, as as the pressure grows, you can see banks starting to apply more. See, so that's what I wanted you guys to see, and it's like this on every one of them. So you can switch it over immediately you can switch it over here and when you naturally select them they're default max and so now i want you to see this so i barely touch it and look look at the difference of how much banks is applying to it see you see that like it immediately hit the blue off so you can see it's immediate so now you'll understand that's how much more responsive it'll be for you guys uh, when you're driving it really does make a difference when you're driving on the road and you need to pass or it's wanting to hunt this will better maintain uh, basically the throttle where you need it to be to kind of be more uh, even flow and traveling on the highway without kind of gearing up gearing down and basically give you the response for the driving situation you're in and so basically I have it on city because right now I'm not out of town and generally when I'm in a city it needs to be responsive but I don't need to just do bananas things um, sport is more for spirit of driving we'll call it so I don't know what you guys will pick but I picked city uh, and I picked it on the max setting so we'll see what you guys go with and let's go take it around and see what we see as far as uh, the feel of the pants hmm? all right so we're here Check out, hey, check out my video on these IAG LEDs. They are bananas, life-changing in a dark Bronco. You saw how, it was, how dark it was? Look how bright it is now. Anyway, Banks, comments below. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you thought. Um, I think it makes a big difference. It feels like it makes a difference. I think when you're sitting in your own and you do this, you'll feel the difference. Seat of the pants feels is what I'm looking for. We're not looking for horsepower gains and stuff like that. Just seat of the pants feels. Does it make a difference? Does it help it get itself out of the way? And I think that's an emphatic yes. I think you guys saw that. And I think you could audibly listen how fast it comes up on boost uh, and how fast you hear that exhaust note come up real fast. So anyway, again, Thanks for watching. Thanks for following along. I do lots of these. Uh, I have a Patreon. If you want to help me do these kind of things and help the channel grow, www.patreon.com forward slash Maximum Overland. I'd appreciate that. Everything we do in that Patreon goes directly to here. Uh, I love testing things and reviewing it for you guys and telling them if they're worth anything. You saw the IEG lights. Check that video out. They are worth every dollar. I think this thing does the job. I've done the Pedal Monster uh, before and the Pedal Commander. I... I lean towards the Pedal Monster because I've never had an issue with it. I had a, a Pedal Commander and I did have it flake out a couple times. So take that for what it's worth. Anyway, thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, share it with your friends. And again, that's Brock Landers. And we'll see you next time. This is my time. I'm on the rise. Can't hold me down. I'm too high. This is my time. Ready to shine. Brighter than all of the lights. Cause when it's